Good morning, professional photographers of Idaho and beyond. I'm Bob Ryder, my special guest today, Phil White. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Phil, you're here um, because you are both uh, a PPA counselor to Idaho. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And um, you are, along with Sherry Barron, our image competition chairs. That's correct. Um, so we have a lot to bring to you today about uh, PPA's restructuring of their image competitions and how you earn merits towards your degrees. We're going to talk a lot about that. He's going to talk a lot about that. <laughs> and um, uh, before we get to that, I really want to um, just hit a couple of quick announcements. So while I'm talking about this, let me check in over here. Uh, Robert, quick, that's an old one. If you're on, I'd love to have you say uh, that you're here, and then I can see if my social feed is working today. I am hopeful. Well, there's that. Here we go. Chat is open. Everyone, there we go. Laquita is here. Hey, Laquita. How do we do? She says, good to see you, Phil. Uh, Bob Quick is on this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Bob. I had a nice, long conversation with him on the telephone. Oh, that's awesome. It, it was good. It was really good. Well, I thought it was good. Maybe Bob thought it was awful. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my wife is on from inside the other part of the house here. But uh, Great coffee. Good. Thank I'm glad you. this is live, folks. I'm going to try and stay with this for a minute. I'm going to come back and hit our rundowns. We've just got our couple of announcements. Um, I actually had, well, I'll roll this, right? Our host today was Larry Fry, and our guest is Phil White. Larry had work obligations. You know that four-letter word? Yep. Yep, work. work. Uh, his J-O-B uh, kept him away from being here today, so I stepped in. I was hoping to let somebody else do the talking today and just behind the scenes press yeah. the buttons and run the show. Okay. But uh, anyway, it's not Larry Fry and Phil White. It's it's us. It's, it's us. It's us. It's, and it's good. It's uh, great. It is good. <laughs> um, we've got to save the date for you. It's been a couple of, well, it's been several weeks since we've run uh, live for you. So our save the date for you, of course, is our convention coming up March 30th through April 2nd at the Courtyard by Marriott. It's the same place we did it this year, earlier this year. So um, coming up in just a few months, we have our annual convention <clears throat> right here in Meridian at the Courtyard by Marriott. And I thought that was a great venue last year. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, awesome. We had uh, good conference rooms. We had a great buffet. That courtyard mm -hmm. <clears throat> was so great for doing our models, having the, the shoots out there and, and all of that. And uh, I think <clears throat> on offering, I think we have a trade show coming this year. Some other really good things that we nice. have planned. You know, things, things remain pretty fluid. Even what we call post-COVID, mm -hmm. things are still very fluid, getting uh, key places uh, to, to notch into place, right? Key right. things to notch into place. Right. So we're experiencing that. And we're like, we've, we've got uh, signed instructor contracts, um, and we've got some other really great things, but um, we will make a, a cohesive announcement hopefully sometime. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to venture a guess it's going to be early January for a cohesive announcement that puts all the pieces together for you. Because I know you're going to have questions is, you know, when do we do this? When do we do that? We do know something about our image competition. And this is a huge change from what we've done before. And I'm going to let you talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, kind of an interesting idea. We have elected to run the print competition or the image competition. Yeah. That's a change. You know, yeah. <clears throat> the new vernacular. You know, so, so many years is calling it print competition, image competition. We are going to be running that two weeks ahead of our convention. Uh, for one, it's it's something that does it's it's better for the association for one because we don't have to really rent a venue to run it. We can run it virtually. We can have it is run virtually. It is run virtually. So we've been renting so, a venue to house that, which is crazy. Which we can run it really easily out of our offices, and yeah. the judges have been judging from home. Why rent the venue? And what it does is it gives the print committee an opportunity to really go through the numbers, make sure everything is right. Uh, in the past, we've literally, while speakers have been talking, <laughs> spending hours sorting all of that out, and uh, that just gives us um, that just gives us a little extra time to do a really good quality job. So when I am a huge fan of this concept, yeah, 
This came to me at the last board meeting uh, just a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, last week. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Life's kind of a blur right now. We were talking about that mm -hmm. uh, off air before we came on air. Right. We'll come back to that topic a little bit, but let's <laughs> stay with what you were talking about. Right. I'm a big fan of, of this virtual image competition taking place ahead of time and then having all of our trophies and, and whatnot in place for our award ceremony without our crew having to, you know, produce that overnight, literally overnight. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's I think it's a great idea and it just takes kind of takes our stress level down a little bit. And same kind of thing. We're I'm I'm when we're putting judges together, we're looking for one of the jurors who's who's actually coming and speaking. And I think that's really great because then you can actually have some one on one time with one of the jurors or a couple of the jurors. And I think, yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be great. I'm excited uh, to do this. Jen Alvey just said, I just played this out here on the air. Fabulous idea, brilliant. That's my <laughs> response too. I this is a thinking thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, we don't always get that, right? Sometimes we react, sometimes we uh, we do it the way we've always done it. Mm -hmm. And this is a thinking thing. Like the game has changed. It's no longer print competition. We stumbled right. over that earlier. Right. And we even talked about that offline before mm -hmm. the show. Uh, it's not print competition. We uh, Let's give credit to Dennis Hammond. He hosted a great Zoom call last yes. night. There were uh, a group of us on there while he informed us from a juror perspective about uh, what PPA's uh, merit image review is going to look like going forward. And, and still even... He doesn't have all the information yet because right. they're still defining some of those things. Exactly. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm going to try to slow down. I get so excited mm -hmm. um, when we get on air with our members and um, and just have an opportunity to sit and talk. So, <sighs> <laughs> all right. Um, I, I just think it's a great idea mm -hmm. um, that we're going to do our image review, our our image competition. Wow. Mm hmm. There's a lot of different acronyms floating out there right uh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that so all needs to sell. So our print competition has turned into image competition. Mm -hmm. There's some very good reasons why it has. I think pandemic played a large role in that. I think technology has played a large role in that. Mm -hmm. Never before have we had an opportunity technology-wise to all come together and, and do that virtual judging in a right. way that we can now. Um, we had a conversation last night about you know monitors being different, and they're working so hard mm -hmm. at the at the juror level to sort that out and to make that more consistent. And um, I'm I'm old school. Mm -hmm. I, I, safe to say, based on your gray hair, you're old school too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love a print. I love to make a print. It I, gives me the doodads. Oh, it does. It does. And and for me, and we talked about this yesterday, uh, and I think we all agree, we just miss the print. Um, however, I mean, there there are reasons. You know, we we don't we we used to fly in judges, <laughs> right? We, and house them and feed and them. house them and right? feed them and all of that. And now you know you just basically you know hey you know log in. They've got the calibrated well, screen. Well, there's infrastructure for that. There's now. infrastructure for yeah. it. And so it just makes it better for the state association to be able to hold uh, this is, conventions that yeah. are of a benefit to the membership of that state. And and from the association level, um, I've had the opportunity uh, at Imaging last year to sit through the Affiliate Leadership Day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a whole day-long conference for affili affiliate leaders. And um, there's there are some affiliates that are not making it. Mm -hmm. There are some affiliates that have questions on how to mm -hmm. make it, how to gain membership. We've been very fortunate mm -hmm. to have nearly doubled our membership through the pandemic, which is astounding, That's right? That's awesome. It's astounding. That's awesome. Um, so I, we're just, it's an interesting time to be doing this, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I could readily say is we're a small affiliate. We're not we're not PPC. We're not California. Right. Okay. Right. Or and we're not Texas. And we're right. not I don't know, Virginia had eight people on the affiliate leadership meeting. Mm -hmm. Northern Virginia had eight people on the affiliate leadership Zoom call the other day. Sure. I'm like, how do you do that? We have five <laughs> board members, right? So we're a relatively small rural affiliate. Welcome to mm -hmm. Idaho, right? Right. So this concept mm -hmm. of the virtual judging really makes sense for us. It does. And it I have really to say, does. if it makes sense for us, it's making sense for the, the bigger affiliates, the larger affiliates too. Mm -hmm. um, right. and, and that doesn't mean that we can't, um, on our own, mm -hmm. 
and you kind of mentioned this, and maybe I'm throwing you a curveball. Okay. But um, maybe on our own at some point, work on having an image, a print review, mm -hmm. where we bring people together with printed images and, and talk about how do you print? Mm -hmm. Like there's a huge learning. I know you print in house. Yes. Right. Yes. And and I do too. Mm -hmm. Everything you see in my studio here, except these large canvases, mm -hmm. are all my own. Mm -hmm. But but that that's its own thing. Mm -hmm. That's not learning the camera. That's not you know. That's <clears throat> it's not it's not any of the things that you've been taught so far. I I've, I've got a curveball <clears throat> for you. I actually am developing a program on printing. <laughs> well, then we need to talk. Coming cu coming to. Um, an affiliate near you near someday. You. You, you just figured out the camera colors. I've got, <laughs> I've got, I've got, a, I've green got, still means go to me. It's like, oh, the red one. Red, red you're dead. Okay, take that from the firearms industry. Red, look, you're dead. Look, look at the red one. Uh, okay. The safety's <laughs> off. You are on the air. Um, I love you, man. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I know is that you've I, and, I, and I don't I don't mean to embarrass you in any way, okay. but you've just got this great, vibrant, gentle soul. And oh, thank uh, you. you're just a joy to have around. Thank you. And uh, so here we are today to talk about Air Merit Image Review. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned convention March 30th to April 2nd. Make sure that you're looking forward to that. Um, I, you're not going to be here in person. In, in person. <clears throat> now, I, I have to explain. I, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> I, I went through PPA's jury school. And I am taking the pathway to try to earn uh, affiliate status with PPA. So to be an affiliate juror, to be part of this merit image review, and part of that process is going and judging for other states. And I had an opportunity, guy, fellow from Wyoming called and he goes, hey, can you come judge? Can you come speak? So my heart will be here in Idaho, but I will physically be in Wyoming. Well, and there's a strong possibility that we'll be uh, hybrid again this year. I haven't been asked to I do that by the board, hope but so, I'm anticipating doing that if then, they'll have me. Then I can be part of it. <laughs> and then you can, and then you can join. And of course, if yeah. you join our convention uh, virtually, you have access to that going forward. Yeah. Uh, any of our attendees, whether you're in person or virtual, have had access to our conventions all year long following that, which is really kind of a huge boon. Yeah, it is. The only thing that we didn't live stream this year. Uh, earlier in the year was the Lindsay Adler component because yeah. that was a special deal. But uh, there's a few comments over here on the social feed that I want to want to bring out. Oh. Uh, Laquita says, "I would love an, to have an opportunity to learn all things about the print," and she says, "And the doodads laugh out loud." I, I said, "It gives me the doodads." Actually, that's from one, <laughs> one of my old pastors. He used to say, "I got the doodads." So um, uh, he's a favorite human of mine. So I, I, I still use that phrase. Um, uh, Jen Alvey, I'd love to learn about how to print herself. Looking forward to that program. Okay. And uh, right. Bob Quick, <clears throat> I miss the lab, darkroom, art lab, airbrushing, pastels, finishing. You're dating yourself, Robert. Um, but uh, I miss a lot of that stuff too. In yeah. fact, in fact, this is completely off the charts. Okay. But I'm uh, I'm researching buying my own black and white uh, negative uh, film processing kit so I can oh, develop fine. my own black and white negatives here because I shoot medium format mm -hmm. when I shoot film, which is a great segue for me to just mention we have a photo walk coming this Sunday downtown Boise. <coughs> Pardon me. Downtown Boise. Uh, Mike Collins and I are going to guide the walk through town and um, I just hope to be useful and helpful along the way. Um, if you're interested in the photo walk on Sunday, head over to PP of Idaho. I'm sure there's a link there. I don't have it for you uh, readily handy because we need to get to our topic. But I, I want to mention the photo walk is going to be this weekend. I'm shooting film. I'm going to take um, my 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 ha, my yeah. Mamaya, Mamia, Mamia 645 1000S. Oh, cool! It's a 120 film. I shoot black and white and color with it. Um, Kim Critchfield just blessed me with a, a whole bag of 120 film. Uh, it's in that Wonderful. freezer right there. I Wonderful. need to thaw some. But um, that's happening on Sunday. That's a great opportunity if you're just looking forward to getting together and maybe having some guidance on a photo walk. Mike Collins and I are going to be out there doing that. I'm excited. Yeah. That's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Wear your snowshoes. Yes. Well, maybe not snowshoes, but your boots. Stay warm. Dress warm. Yes. Wires. Just like Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible, I know. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's, um, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going right, to put the title so, slide up. I've got to navigate to that real quick. Okay, so I don't really have any um, PowerPoint or anything, but I just want to talk a little bit about the marriage image review system. Um, okay. And uh, 
So I, just a little bit of background. Um, and Dennis did a really wonderful job talking about all the nuts and bolts. I mean, it was a really great program. Last if night you, on Last Zoom. night on Zoom. Yep. It's posted on Facebook. I strongly encourage you guys to, to log in and, and go see it because yeah. it was a really fantastic and program. The educational component of that program was about 13 minutes and then the conversation program of that, which was just bountiful. Mm -hmm. um, we cut it about the 45 minute mark. So it's not even gonna take a lot of your time. Right. Uh, go on, pop on our members only page if you're a PPI member and, uh, and give that a look. And sure. if you're not a PPA member, what the heck, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still check it out. It's good information. Yep. And so, but uh, when, when this was first presented to council, and I, I, I wanna really highlight this because I think this is particularly important, is uh, the merit, the value of a merit. Uh, PPA has had concerns about the value of a merit. Okay, and the history of the merit is a, it's an interesting story. In 1936, we were in the middle of the Great Depression, yeah. and PPA members at the time were struggling to make a living because what has happened, of course, everybody was in the Depression. Hey, I can buy a Kodak, I can take pictures, I can make some money. A, a, a box camera. A box camera. A brownie. Yeah, well, you know, George Eastman, he's, he, he wanted photography for the masses. That was yep. his... That was I should have had wanted. a prop out there. I have a whole collection of them. I, 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 I do too. I, could, I should have brought that. <laughs> and, so, and so basically professional photographers were struggling to make a living in that environment. Does that sound a little familiar? Yeah, well, and we've heard that when 35 millimeter film hit, mm -hmm. and we've heard that when digital, mm -hmm. oh, I, I can't make a living because all the people digital camera, the price to entry so like, mm -hmm. right? That's where the degree program comes in. That's where it comes in. And so basically PPA developed the merit and degree system because essentially the merit is the standard of the photographic industry that determines professional or helps. It's the standard for professional photography. Okay, it, it, it was designed to set, us, set apart the professionals from the amateurs and consumers could put their trust and faith in a merited photographer because basically they, they've earned their stripes, if you will. Yeah. And so- They've proven their value. It, it's proven their value. And so for those of you who ha are, are looking at the degree program for PPA, understand it, it, it's not it's not this. That's not that's not the point. I don't mind that. I, I, I like it too. <laughs> I, you know, yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Pat's all the way around. No. Um, but the, the importance of it was, was the educational component of the merit and what I think we have maybe lost a little bit has been, hey, you know, I've earned merits, I have this degree, and start to talk about the value and lift it up in the eyes of consumers that this was PPA's way of separating professionals from amateurs. And so anyway, the first, 1939 was the first master's degree awarded by PPA. And uh, so anyway, it so that standard has never changed. And so, Today, the challenge has been that the master's degree and the merits and the competition, the involvement has been slowly uh, declining Declining. Yeah. over the past 20 years. Um, and PPA is a very member-driven organization, and what they did is they went out and <clears throat> says, okay, why? Why? Why is this I, happening? I'd like to make a quick comment, Sure. if I could. Um, that decline in participation in PPA's merit program uh, is also felt in, in membership organizations across the globe. Right. And I think it coincides strongly with the um, onset of the internet or the interwebs or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call that thing right. oh, yeah. that we all love and hate. Right. Um, uh, there's a great book called uh, Bowling Alone that talks about the joiner generation uh, when PPI was 150, 200 members strong back in the early 80s mm -hmm. and why that has declined to less than 100 now. Right. And our objective right now is to get our membership back up to 100 and plus and grow mm -hmm. uh, because I think people are starting to come around and understand the benefits of belonging. Exactly. And the benefits, I, I think your explanation of what, where this is rooted Mm -hmm. and why degrees, mm -hmm. I, I think, I, I mentioned this last night at the Zoom, mm -hmm. this is super pertinent to me, like this really struck me mm -hmm. when I read this a few weeks ago, I can't even remember where I read it. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to comment on, on the membership sure. has, has trailed off too, there's a lot of apathy. There, right? there is, and, and, and well, membership in PPA is growing. 
That is it actually is. Yep. happening. And the reason, of course, why is exactly this. They are pivoting. They are looking what our current culture, what their current members, what their needs, their thoughts, their culture is, and go, how can we continue to keep the merit as the standard of photography and work within that culture? And so essentially that's kind of the historical perspective. And so, and I know this for a fact, because I, I have a small group of people. Mentees? I, yeah, mentees, some people we're working with who want to pursue their master's degree. And it's the whole idea of competition. It kind of turns them off. Yeah, actually, I just and had I'm, that conversation with somebody last night. I'm a competition guy. You're I a competitive guy. I love game day. It's awesome. See, I don't. I can't. I, can't, I think See? I actually have felt for years. That, that image or print competition is a misnomer. Mm -hmm. The only person you're competing against is yourself. Exactly. Like, I, when one of my peers merits does well on an image, I'm stoked mm -hmm. for them. So how is that competition, right? Right, right. Um, so I've always, I've felt for a long time that it's kind of a misnomer anyway. I, I agree, I agree. I, I tell people it's an educational process. Yeah. It is, I have learned so much through the competitive process and you learn it through a sense of humility. You submit those every year. Yeah. You know, some of them, you, sometimes you have outstanding years, and no, some I years you- I think this is you, a great image. You, you, Not a great image. Yeah. I think you, this is an average image. Great image. <laughs> what? Yeah. Thanks for confusing me. But that, <laughs> but that's part of the education it process. Is. It really is. That is part of that process. Yeah. And, and to kind of say, okay, I'm gonna to submit to this process and learn from it. Yeah, there has been so many things I personally have learned through my journey to the, and beyond, I still compete. I have my master's degree and I still compete. Why? Because it, I learned so much. And I wanna say this one thing. This is about the master's degree. Everybody looks at the master's degree as, hey, I've arrived. Look, I have a master's degree and I should have brought my little dongle here. I, I forgot it this morning. I, I was, we have roads to deal if, with if this you're, morning. Uh, if you're watching me not paying attention to him, it's because I'm trying to turn my house thermostat uh, down because our air conditioner, our heat's running, cranking away right next to us and it comes through on the live. Sorry. That's okay. Distracting. That's all right. Let's get my clock back up. Go ahead. So my, my background comes from judo and there's a, there's the, um, I, I attended several years and earned a brown belt in judo and it, there was a lot of oh, respect goes into the ob the belt and it was very interesting because in judo the black belt you always always think oh he's got a black belt so he's he knows everything in judo the black belt is the first of 11 degrees so the black belt they say now i'm a serious student of judo interesting okay so the medallion the master's medallion doesn't say hey I, I know everything. I've made it. I've made it, no. This just means I'm now a serious student of photography and that my learning continues. Excellent. And so um, so when you look at the master's degree, again, it's, it's not about this. It's about what you learn. You benefit from the process. And so... So Dennis mentioned chasing glass last night. And for those who don't know that phrase, <laughs> if, you, if you caught that show last night yeah. and don't know what chasing glass is, it's about... Awards. Trophy chasing. Yeah, awards and um, trophies, yeah. And, and I think we can all probably look and name a hand, maybe just a couple of people that are trophy chasers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, somebody, I, I could think of a person specifically that goes from state to state to state to state to state to state mm -hmm. to state right. with images and just collects trophies on the images. And um, what's the point? What's the point? Like I really, uh, for me, so this is maybe a good time for me to dovetail in. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were talking CPP earlier. Yeah, yeah. That was an eye-opening process for me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't eye-opening from the education perspective because I was really ready to, to do it. Sure. Because um, I've been shooting a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just time to put some text to that. Sure. Um, but what it did is it, is it kind of opened my eyes to exactly what you're talking about. It opened my eyes to the channel through which mm -hmm. I can continue my education. Right. And that was super valuable to me, yeah. understanding what PPA rep represents to me as a member and and why the CPP and why the craftsman degree and why the master's degree and why mm -hmm. there's a, I, I don't, I, I probably wouldn't do it justice to name them all, but there's a master of weddings. So there's there's master of photography. Okay. You earn at the camera. Yep. You craftsman. Photographic craftsman. Photographic craftsman, which you earn at the Teaching, podium. Teaching, authoring, yep. Earn at the podium. 
the master artist, which you earn at the computer. Okay. So it's all about taking Man, images. nobody's ever put it this way. Keep going. Okay. And the, the master wedding, which is what you earn uh, wedding day photography. And so those are the four degrees. And... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't get you excited, you're not... If that doesn't excite you, mm -hmm. you're not in it to win it. Yeah. Because by that way, just... By the way, congratulations on your craftsman. See, I'm not supposed to... So we got an email that says we're not supposed to announce or anything like that. So I've been... You've been my friends nominated. Know, you have been nominated. Yeah, they're going to... I'm getting that in case. Yeah. Like You've been nominated. Seven weeks now. Seven Congrats. and a half weeks. Yeah, I'm working on mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm about a year away from mine. So I, it, it was a long time in the making because um, I wasn't connected to an affiliate. Mm-hmm. Uh, for a long time, and um, anyway, I'm excited about it. Huge value, because the value in that is, if you're like me, you take a topic you're unfamiliar with and go, okay, I need to learn about this topic, which means if I teach this, I'm gonna have to get out there and figure everything yeah, out. Yeah, and, and part of that for me, um, <laughs> a big part of that for me is when, when not just one person, not just two people, but when a handful of people start asking me to learn something specific, mm -hmm. it's something I know, right? but it's not something that I've taught. Right. So then I have to deep dive in it. Sure. Right? That's exactly, exactly what you're going to say. Exactly. I've got to deep dive in this, and mm -hmm. then I've got to figure out how I'm going to communicate this to others. Mm -hmm. And and that's the time that, that that knowledge transforms for me is when I'm, right. okay, I've got, it's back here, but can I explain it to somebody else and make mm -hmm. it useful to them? Exactly. I try so hard at that. Mm -hmm. Um Anyway, yeah, and so the, the whole mat, the, the whole degree program PPA, there, there's reasons. There are reasons for these degrees, and they pursuing really all the degrees that you know that um, PPA offers. I mean, there's tremendous value in just every facet of your career. Yeah, and we've got some social comments. Do you mind if I pop them in? Go right ahead. Um, Bob Quick, he's what? What? I don't know everything. How is that possible? <laughs> That's such a Bob Quickism. Let me introduce Bob. you to professional photography. Ha! <laughs> yeah. That's his saying. <laughs> I used that recently um, with somebody that needed to hear that. <laughs> um, and then Jen Alley, she just said, congrats. We'll be at Imaging and Cheering for you. I was wondering if you were coming this year, Jennifer. I'm so excited you're going to be there. It's nice to have your friends it really is. surrounding you when big events happen in life. And uh, Laquita has a question. She says, are all the requirements on the PPA website and the requirements to keep each, such as continuing education credits? Yes, the answer is yes, uh, but very, very simple, very simple on the degrees. Once a, oh, there's the camera right Yeah, there. I moved Sorry. it, sir. I'm trying to keep it interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, once you've earned your awards and degrees, you never, gonna... you never lose them. So your master's, your craftsman, artist, and wedding degree, you will always keep that degree. As a certified professional photographer, the, the concept behind that is you are always in a state of learning. So they want you to submit um, continuing, uh, education. continuing education credits. So simple version, attend Imaging USA every year. And you and get your CEs. You get, get all your CEUs just by attending Imaging every year. But you can attend. Here's an interesting formula. 1312. Right? Mm-hmm. 1312. This is speaking to... How many print merits you need for your master's and how many any other merits you need. Yes. This also works for your photographic craftsman. Right. This is uh, teaching merits and service merits. Right. And so 25 merits to earn any of the degrees. So 13 plus 12 is 25. Yep. 13 of them need to be camera, podium, computer, whatever that degree requires. Minimum of that. The rest can be, you know, attending PPA yeah. classes, imaging. You can accumulate those in a number of different ways. Yeah, that was a really good question, Laquita. That's um, awesome. Yeah, the the PPA website, and I'm I'm going to give kudos to PPA. They they revamped their website. Was about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it used to not be great. There is so much information there. It's almost hard to find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But the search works really well. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in learning more about the merit <clears throat> image review, I actually have a screen for that. Uh, if you're looking for uh, more information on the merit image review, this mm -hmm. process that, uh, that Phil is talking about today, that Dennis spoke about last night, um, there's a page at the ppa.com website 
that just talked about merit image review. And all I did was I went to the page, I didn't even sign in. I just put MIR up in that top search box and mm -hmm. this is the page that came up and there are pages yes. underneath this. There's tons of information. And then um, I'm gonna come back to Q here for just a minute. I call Aquita Q. Um, mm. Okay. So Q, uh, to be specific about the degree stuff, I think, yeah, we're back. Um, to be specific about the degree requirements, those are all online under the education tab. Mm -hmm. um, and then also you can track what you've done. If you log in and go to the My, my PPA, my PPA yeah. there's an education area there where you can track your, your education merits and your points and all of those things. And I was actually, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to push this for a minute and say it was at one of our PPA luncheons that Mike Collins leaned over my shoulder and said, how close are you to your degree? <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> so we logged on on my phone and he goes, dude, you need two merits. Yeah. He's like, you've got your degree. You just got to, <laughs> you need two merits. I'm like, well, I'm teaching a class next week. He goes, well, there you go. There you go. So, um, yes, it's all there. That's a great question. Uh, PPA.com. I don't go there often, mm -hmm. but I go there when I have a question because you can almost always find the, the information you're looking for. And if you need, you can dial the 1-800 number and they have got incredible customer service. I very rarely I've ever never done not that. get somebody on the phone who either has the answer to your question or they'll say, just a minute, I'll get right back to you. And they, they've got incredible customer service on the phone site. That's too. amazing. I've never so, called. Yeah, yeah. Never called. Um, okay, so back to you, Merit Image Review. Yes. Let's hit some of the details about okay. when it's taking place. All right. All right. So, sure. so basically what has happened is uh, they are, they've got Merit Image Review, and what this is is it turns into an educational process, which I, I think for a lot of what they have found through their surveys and, and demographic studies and so on, has decided that, by and large, the, the culture has shifted to where I would really love to see this to be more of a educational process than a competitive a process. Competitive process. Yeah. And so what they did is they turned it into the Merit Image Review. And what it does is it's, so you can turn in four images a month starting in the month of February through November. So they're not gonna jury any prints in the months of December and January. Yep. So 10 months out of the year, you can put in four images. You can submit- Per month, per category. Per month, per category. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is deep. I, well, I mean, there's a lot of notes here, so I, I think- So photographic can... open, wedding, and, ma and artist. Yeah, so you can, so if you're, like say, photographic open, you can turn in four per month. If you're working on your artist degree, you can turn in another four. And if you're working, and on, if you're your working on your wedding degree, there's another four. You, you would could, be incredibly motivated, and I'm. I would just have to give you kudos. What in the world is the math on that? Forty. That's 120 images a year you, potentially. Potentially, but the limit is 40. The limit. Well, well, per category, but 120 images a year. Uh, if you're pursuing all three, I I thought it was 40 images per year. Maybe. Okay. That's so a, there we go. Point of clarification. Great, there. Great I don't question. Know. The 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 point is. Dennis, where are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're out there in uh, YouTube land watching us uh, the, talk The point about is, is you can go and you can turn in four a year, and if I say some of them merit, some of them don't merit, you can take the, get a critique on the ones that don't merit, submit them again next month. Improve see, them. You, you can them. improve them and submit them. Yep. So basically, when you submit to the Merit Image Review, what's going to happen is you're going to get one of four uh, categories. It's going to come back either no merit and with a low potential for future merit. Yep, category so, A. Category A, and what that means is, okay, maybe it's time to just put that one aside and focus work on, some on other, something else. Work That's on really something. what that means. That's, That's a polite means. way of saying that image sucks, move on. <laughs> We would never say that. <laughs> no, but I can. Okay, it's... all right. You can, yes, you can say that. I'm and, not a judge. But if I get an A, I'm like, well, but, that one know, goes they, in the they heat, taught right? us in, They taught us in jury school that that's not... The... It's not very diplomatic. <laughs> um, okay, category they B. They say low potential. Low potential. Okay. Yeah. And basically, you know, yeah, they're right. You know, maybe you can pull a, pull a rabbit out of the hat and rescue or the image. Or maybe you should just work on a better... A, a, 
another image that would that, has that, more potential. That, that would that would be a best practice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is real, folks. We're not trying to snow you. Yeah, we, did, we didn't script this. We're no, just... no. Okay. Category B. Category B, no merit, but with the potential to merit. So essentially, this if you got that horrible 79 in the state competition, you're going, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> one, where are you? Yeah, one more. All I need is one more point to get a merit. In. <laughs> okay. It's probably in this, I would say, the 77 to 79 category. No merit, but it has the potential. So that means get, an, get the critique, take it back out to the woodshed, go work on it, yeah. because there is the potential that you could circle back around and this could So merit. So that right there is the reason to, to add the critiques when you register your images. Bingo. Because yes. if you get images into that B category, mm -hmm. you want to know why. Right. Why didn't it make and what could I do to make it better? Right. And, and they often say that if you had an image not merit, 99% of them have just one or two things that you could improve, yeah. and they would potentially come back and merit. Larry raises his hand. It's a running joke because, I, well, it you happened. Know, I, I, you know, if I had kept them, I'd probably have a stack of 79s <laughs> in my career. It's... It would call it the aggravation pile or something. Right. We should give that a pet name. Larry, why don't you give that a pet name that we can put on the air? Uh, <laughs> category C. Category C. I knew you'd be fun today. <laughs> okay, so I'm category C is it. Oh, there we go. Hello. Uh, <laughs> it's a merit image. So this would be your 80. 200. Problem. Well, technically, yes, but we have one more category. I know we do. We do have another category. But yeah, it is a merit image. Congratulations, you've earned a merit with that. And Cha-ching, one of the Cha-ching goes, in, goes into my PPA as an exhibition merit. Excellent. Okay, category D is what's called image excellence. Okay, so for those of you who follow this, when PPA judges, they have a merit pool, and that entire merit pool goes before the image excellence committee. And essentially what they're now looking for is really the best of the best out of the merit pool. Because all of a sudden, those the, 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 the 12 elements, those really tighten up, and they start, you know, hey, what really does line up for the 12 elements? What am I distracted? What You know, the discussion changes. And then what happens is they go into the image excellence book if you get a category D, which is huge. Now, I'm going to say one thing. PPA traditionally has issued two merits for image excellence mm. through print competition. Yeah, don't get bogged down with this. This is a... You get one merit, you just get in the book. So yeah. I don't want to get bogged down on the details. So one but of the that points is... that I made last night on Dennis's uh, Zoom call, and there's a couple of questions that we need to answer coming in on the line sure. here. Uh, but one of the point of clarifications is, is you've got category C, which is a merit image, and category D, which is also a merit image. Yes. Right? Well, and when, when we're taught to, uh, to judge, basically, yes, it's a merit, but when it says, when, it, when image excellence goes, okay, it's thumbs downs for image excellence, they say it's still a merit. Yeah. Okay, so that, keep in mind, it hasn't lost anything, it just didn't move into image excellence. Which would probably be what, up into the high 90s? If you were a, a, a numerical it, scorer? Uh, he, potentially, but not always. Yeesh. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I remember years ago, there was, you know, somebody was kind of, it was high 80s and, or mid 80s that in, Districts and turn around and ended up alone in IPC. He just Very got a in front of a, a group that went, you wow. know, actually, wow, you yeah. know, and, and those kind of things occasionally happen. But yeah, traditionally, so anything high 90s would be considered okay. image excellence. Let's yeah. drop over here to the social feed. Jen Alvey has a question. I'm going to read it from here. Do you know if you can order a critique after you get your letter score or is it when you submit? Great question. I'm going to sure. guess that you have to buy that ahead. I, I think you probably do because... Um, as I, we do with ours. Yeah, because I think traditionally that's how PPA has done it. Now, they haven't announced any changes. So that's a shoulder shrug. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aliquita has a question. She says, our state merits just for points. These can't be sent for PPA merits. You want to talk about that a little yes. bit? Yes. Okay, so you know, okay, so here's, here's the deal. State merit... So... PPA, PPI is an affiliate of PPA, yep. but they're not one and the same. Right. Okay. Really two separate 
entities, although we do have an affiliate, PPI has an affiliate st status with PPI. Yeah. So when we conduct our print competitions, they're not for PPA merits, although there are ways you can earn PPA merits through service to PPI. That is something PPA has allowed us as an organization. But not through print. But not through print. Yeah. So the fellowship degree, on the other hand, is what the merits at the state level are for. Because what happens is the fellow, the Idaho fellow, Idaho fellow. is the equivalent on the state level of the master's degree on the national level. Yeah. I, I really feel that way because well, you still I'm, have to yeah. you still have to do that's 20. a that's a whole nother program conversation. It is because the fellow has categories in its own. So I, I'm going to be really concise to Laquita because I kind of know how she thinks. Okay, um, you are PPA, you are PPI images. If they merit here at the state convention, that's not a merit for PPA. That's a merit for the state. But I am going to say this because this came out in the meeting last night, and I think maybe Sherry said this. We still judge on a numerical value, mm -hmm. and the numerical value really gives you an idea of where on the spectrum the quality of your image lies. Right. And so how category, category C just tells you you got a merit. It doesn't tell you if you were an 80 or a 95. Yeah. It doesn't whether, tell you if it was an awesome merit or a mediocre merit that might, might it, not be merited by another panel. Potentially, yeah. Right? Right. So the state affiliates, PPI, the state affiliates are the only place you can still get judged with a numerical outcome to exactly. understand the quality of your image mm -hmm. in that perspective. So, so the real advantage to this, too, is when you submit to the state, and let's say, you know, we're still going to have six images, okay, you can enter eight in a category, so you... Really, you have six of the eight you could potentially turn and enter in PPA Merit Image Review. You would have a numerical score, and you know where that image would stand, and hopefully get some critiques to go, okay, if you had any that weren't performing as well as you had hoped, you got something to work on. So when you do go to Merit Image Review, the print has a stronger chance of earning a merit on the national level. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's just that simple. Just that simple. And we're. Gonna... A, I, I think there's a lot of reason with within what we're talking about here. I'm going to back out just a little bit, just kind of. I think a lot of what we're talking about here is probably what part of the hindrance was to getting involved in this. If mm -hmm. you don't have a state affiliate that is uh, leading the way in image competition, mm -hmm. that places a strong emphasis on image competition. Mm -hmm. If you're an affiliate that, or you don't have a state affiliate, lots of states' affiliates have gone away. Right. Let me just say that. Lots of states' affiliates has, have evaporated. I know there's a, a state affiliate out west that's going away. They, don't, they, they will cease to exist after the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's tragic. It is. But it is also kind of part of the times we're in. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've got an affiliate that's doing a good job with, with print competition, image competition internally mm -hmm. within the state, you are likely to better understand how this plays into PPA. Mm -hmm. But I think if you were just to jump on, I'm like, I'm a PPA member only. I've never joined my state affiliate. And I know they're out there. We've got mm -hmm. a ton of PPA members in Idaho oh, yeah. who haven't come alongside our state affiliate. And they're mm -hmm. missing it. Right. They're missing the education in this process. They're missing, well, they're missing a lot, right? They're missing a lot. Um, but, I, but I think that just by being part participating here at the state level, you'll, you'll help to get an understanding of what's happening at that, at that national level. I have to say, and I say this for PPI, I'm because bring... PPI, PPI, the reason I'm where I'm at today, the reason why I'm sitting in this chair, the reason why I go to work at a studio in downtown Boise is because of PPI and the people I have met and the relationships I've formed with PPI. You, you really are shirts, if you're not a member of PPI, I feel you're short circuiting. I also, as a representative of PPA, go, you need to be part of PPA too, because yeah. this is an organization fighting for your career on a national level yeah. and providing huge benefits. There is great reasons to belong to both. Geez, they're fighting at the legislative level. Exactly. At the federal level. They spent, um, what, six years fighting for, for copyright, copyright reform uh, for the Case Act. Yep. Yeah, uh, sending people up there to Washington and talking so, to. I would like to echo your sentiment about PPI. Mm -hmm. um, 
And, and I know this is true for a number of people that are on today um, who I call friends. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I joined PPI before I moved to Idaho. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, I knew we were coming. Uh-huh. We were waiting for our house to sell, and I joined. Because mm-hmm. um, if you know, if you if you were to look back at my timing, you'd be like, you haven't been here long enough to have served on the board when you did. Um, that's because I joined before I got here. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, I, knew I, I knew I needed this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I guess I'm a joiner. Yeah. Um, Dennis hit it pretty strongly oh. last night. Right. And I'm going to quote him. Okay. And uh, he said, merits, money, and friends. Mm-hmm. You can never have too many. I think that's true. And this is a great place for all of that. Like, exactly. um, I'm not going to give you money, but I, I tell you, if you stick around this guy long enough, you're going to make more money. Right? Hopefully, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and you know, vice versa. You know, I, I learned so much from the people around me, you know, from you, from Dennis, yeah. Uh, my good friend Jim Fort down in Twin Falls. I miss Jim. Of, I haven't seen him in eons. I, I just met somebody that knows him. It was weird. I was somewhere I have, totally unrelated. I have to call him a couple of times a year just to, you know, hey, what's going on? He <laughs> I is should do that. busy beyond belief right now down in Twin Falls. But again, those relationships here at PPI has been valuable. And even at this stage of my career, having those connections is still important, still valuable, and still relevant. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's important to be part part of it. That's a good time for me to put the "you belong here" ticker on. <laughs> Join PPI <laughs> mentors, friends, community leadership, education. Um, this group has worked really hard. Um, I've been involved in leadership, I think, now for four years. Um, the amount of effort that has gone in to these very things. I'm going to put it again because it's so pertinent. Mentorship, friends, community leadership, education, um, lunches, um, just meeting people for coffee and lunch and just having people drop in my, this is my second studio here in Idaho, and um, people come by and just, hey, hey, are you in the studio? Yep, come on by. And we, we have a little group, people aspiring to be master photographers yeah, I love that, this. you know, that gets together. Uh, talk to Alan Ansel if you're interested. Um, and we got, we, they go cr- do critiques and they go support each other. And I mean, it's all that thing that PPI really brings is that sense of connection that, yeah. hey, this, I, I want to earn my master's degree. Hey, we got a group meeting that's doing just that. And everybody's supporting each other and being cheerle- cheerleaders for each other. So it's, it's great. It is great. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, and le- do you have a lot more to talk um, about? I not, think we kind of beat it up pretty good. We're, we're getting close to the end. Let me see if I missed okay. anything. The only okay. thing that I wrote down that we haven't talked about is up to eight merits a year through this MIR. Right. There is a cap on the amount of merits in each category you can earn, which is, I, be- I believe it's each category. He didn't say that either. He didn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Up, well, up to eight merits a year. More to come on that one. Yeah. Um, and, you know... The, I think you mentioned this before we went online here. Um, the big announcement for this is coming in February. Is that correct? It is. Following Imaging USA. Mm-hmm. So David Trust, CEO of PPA, has pretty much, he said, well, we're going to announce a new IPC coming in February. It's going to be revamped for those like me who love to compete. Uh, where it's going to be just absolutely perfect, and um, it it can it will dovetail into the marriage image review is what I understand. But his comment is only one big announcement at a time, <laughs> which I think is wise because yeah. you know this is a big thing, and as it you is. can see, even in this discussion, there's these little fine details that you're like, can you imagine okay, being I'm the people really who are sh- trying to sort this all out? And oh, somebody yeah. goes, "What about this?" And he goes, "No, <laughs> shut up." <laughs> I kind of want to even think about that, right? Yeah, but I mean, there's little fine points that are probably still even being sorted out. And yeah, I think so. So let's talk about a fine point. Um, mm-hmm. We have our image competition taking place a couple of weeks prior to our convention that we've announced. Um, yes. We talked about policy, mm-hmm. right? If you're entering images into PPAs, marriage image review, and you merit an image. Um, in February or March, mm-hmm. 
those aren't eligible to be entered right. into it our would, state competition. Yeah, yeah. If you and already, that's not a new rule. No, that's that that has been around for a very very. This, that was around before I even became part of PPI. So that has not changed. So if if you jump right on the bandwagon and get that first round of merit image reviews in February or March, um, and got a merit. Okay, need to find another image because it'll be DQ'd in our um, yeah. in our and, image and comp you know what? Um, competition. I know the judges are seeing a lot of images, but they're going to recognize images they've judged, and if they see an image they've already judged, pff, it's going to be out of there. Right. And so always, you know, here's here's a great practice, and I know Sherry had mentioned this too, Sherry Hammond. She says, you know, we're not even going to do any any merit. Uh, merit reviews until after state because we want our images to go into state. We want them judged. We want a numerical score. Then we'll move them into that's the, logical. And, and I that's, think it's I, that's a good best practice. We, we've always tried to hold our convention in a manner that's timely for you to get your images through our process, get a score on them, and then enter them into the next step. That was regionals, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Which is now going to be districts, and districts. so now, and now it's just image image review, merit, merit image I, review. I think that um, I think that simplifies that process a it little does. bit. A lot. Yeah, it does. All right, lot. very cool. We are um, uh, eight minutes to the hour. I feel like we've covered just a ton of ground. Yep. I hope that we didn't confuse you too much. Um, let me check the social feed. Uh, Laquita says, great information. I appreciate you both. Thank you, um, Larry Fry says, enjoyed the conversation today. Bob and Phil, thanks for the insights and the, comp uh, and the competition changes. Uh, Jen Alvey, I put this on already. Uh, you were talking. She said, well said, Phil. PPI has, the reason, has been the reason for my success. And uh, like I said, I knew I needed this coming here. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I'm here today. And we've, we've seen new members uh, we see a couple new members each month. Um, we've got we've got some great events planned for the coming year. I, I can't spill the beans on that yet because they haven't been uh, uh, run past the board yet. But lots of really cool stuff coming for 2023. Awesome! I think you're going to love it. Our emphasis on fun and um, and gathering and um, and doing all of the things that we do. So, yeah. any if you don't have anything else, I. I Think, don't either. I think I think I covered it all. Great. Then I'm going to. Uh, I'm let me... at the bottom of my page. So <laughs> I'm at the bottom of my page. I'm just making stuff up now. Um, I'm going to put this slide on. A little bit of music. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And then, um, all right. I'm ready to close it. We're going to close on this camera. Okay. Uh, folks, it's been great chatting with you today. I really appreciate the discussions taking place online while we're uh, having our conversation. And uh, I just, I love the nature of the conversations that take place at this table. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it was good for you today. Oh, it was great. Great. Good. Had a great time. Thank you for having me, Bob. Got it. Well, and thanks for, thanks for watching. We appreciate your talents. All right, folks, we'll see you. Um, I have a question out to Larry as to whether we're meeting again next week. Uh, but I would love to see you next week if we're on. So I'll let you know. Be watching the Facebook page for details on that. And we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.